previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. When we last left off, I forget what we did. Oh, we fought Ockham a bunch of times with all the different arms and stuff. And that's correct. Yes, I want to make a, a correction on this. I said uh, the armors were getting removed. Uh, it turns out they're not. They're just getting made into vanity items. The Horn God is staying as vanity. However, Dragon, Titan and Spectral Armor will be transformed into vanity and not be armor anymore. But Ockram is still being removed. So, you know what? The video is still valid. Anyway, we're back here in our world of orange blood You may notice I've built a suspended house to live in and I built a pit to trap enemies in. Um, have I got an orange blood root? Well, let's take a look. No. No. And no. So why are we here? Why are we here? Well, I figured we're spending so much time in this world not doing anything, just letting it run, trying to get Orange Blood Root to build, that I could double up my chances here. So I've brought a few things with me, as you can see from my inventory here. And my plan, I'm going to set up something I never thought I would want to do. I'm going to build a Nymph Grinder, and we're going to get that Nymph Banner. Now here's the unfortunate part, it's not going to be on camera. The 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 building of the Nymph Grinder will be on camera, that's what we're going to do today. However, getting the Nymph Banner, I'm not going to record literally 48 hours of footage to trim down to find the one spot. So I'm going to build the Nymph Grinder and then when I let this run, trying to do Orange Blood Root, we may also get a Nymph Banner and then when we get it, I can show you guys it. But yeah, I, I have a, a plan in mind. I was looking online at other people's ideas for Nymph Grinders and stuff and I sort of modified one in my head that I think should work. So nymphs spawn not in this layer, but in this layer here. So we need to go down here. We need to dig open a huge space. So we may go to the right, we may go to the left, I'm not sure. But let's get down. Let's get down there and see. Now I've brought a lot of different potions with me. I've got shine potions to see, night owl potions to see. Mining potions to dig faster, and calming potions so we get constantly attacked by enemies while we use our Shroomite Digging Claws to speedily, hastily dig our way through. So, I think I'm just going to pop these two right now without drinking the others. Just so I can see a little bit better what's going on. Haha, <laughs> skeleton. You think you're better than me? Is that how it goes? So I'm just going to dig sideways a little bit until I find... Ooh, water. You know, water might not be the worst. Because it would mean it'd be like a big open space pre-done where the water is. I see that trap. Big open space where we're, we're free to... Not really dig very much out. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, look, there's a teal mushroom. Is that teal or is that the other one? It's not lime, is it? It's teal. I can't believe my inventory was already full. Alright, this is looking like a nice open area here. This looks like it would work. Is that a hat? It is a hat. I'm liking it. Okay, so let's drink all of our potions. And then let's dig the crap out of this. Oh, we're going so fast. We even managed to dig away the silt before it fell. That's how fast we're going. So I think what I might do is put a like a little fast forward thing on this. Because it's just going to be you know, me digging holes and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit.
Right, now that we have this big open space, I think what I want to do is block off alternate spawning points. So I need to fill in these holes to force everything to spawn within this one block. I think I might want to go a little bit deeper on this, but I'm not sure. Let's take a look down this hole. See how deep we can get the camera to view. See, for example, this is a decently sized hole we got here. Which is going to be plenty of room for stuff to be spawning in there, which I don't like. Hmm. Not ideal, but we can make do, I think. Basically, as long as I fill in some of these holes within a certain range, we should be good. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, time to start filling stuff in. Right, it has taken me forever, and I've done what I can, and I can't have to do anymore. So, I filled in a bunch of these holes around here. I've filled in a bunch of the holes up here. I've dug up in this one rather than filling it in. That way no one can spawn on the floor. Uh, maybe up here, maybe, I'm not sure. Now, I have seen an enemy spawn there, look, and I don't really want to go and dig all that out or fill it in. Same here, you see I dug out a big pit to stop them spawning up here. With them being so far away, they should despawn. So, basically want as many things spawning up here as possible. If they're down here, it's a pain. It can be fixed, but it's a pain. But yeah, let's get on with actually building the Nymph Grinder. It has been forever. You have no idea how long I've spent doing this. I even ran out of potions. Uh, inventory is full of crap as per usual. But if we're going to get rid of all of that, that's fine. Like so. Right, so the first thing I want to do is build myself a spot to stand in. So I think I'm probably going to want to do it here. And then I'm going to want to very simply just do that. And that's going to be, this will be where I live, essentially. So I don't want to be in here right now, so let's teleport out. And then in here we are, no, we'll do that later. Right, next thing we want to do is actually raise the floor up a little bit. That much? One more, maybe? Go away, you. Do I want to do that? Or do I just want to... I think it'd be easy to just dig this down, wouldn't it? My little spot that I stand on. Rather than raising up the entire floor, just... Lower the spot that I stand on. Get out of here, you. So let's do it right here. And these stupid shroomite digging claws have no range. Right, so if I just put a roof on it, that's all good by me. So let's teleport out. Right, now what I want is, next to here, is to dig a little hole. Little, little hole. About that big. Seems good to me. You get out of here. Then I want to put in a couple of spiky ball traps. And do I want them on this l Yeah, I'll do. And then on top of those, I want to put a couple of pressure plates. So if the enemy stand on here, what's going to happen is they'll activate the spiky ball traps and get damaged. And because I'll be stood just in there, any loot they drop should get sucked straight to my inventory. However, you guys know, uh, my inventory is going to get full of skeleton bones and swords and gel and stuff, which is why we're going to change uh, some of the other stuff around so that doesn't happen. So, for example, right here. You know, I'm actually going to raise this up a little bit. Please. Please, please, please. Like that, I think, is what I want to have. Basically, I want to have a little bit of a lip to this. Because what I'm going to do is, in here, I'm going to pour in a bucket of lava. What that will do is, if any bats drop 
or fly down to get me, as they'll try to do, as I'm in here, they'll uh, die in the lava. But it also means that because they're high up, they shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to pick up their loot. At the moment, it's just killing slimes, but, yeah, you know, that's another thing. I've just put this one little lip here, just to stop... You know, I should probably raise this a bit higher. Just to stop um, them potentially getting out. I don't know how high enemies can jump once they're in. Get out of here, you. Right, so the next thing we want to do is... Let's see... We want to kill off all the slimes and stuff before the reaches. So I'm going to put another lava pit over here. Now you may be thinking, you know what? Why put a lava pit down? You're going to kill the nymph over there. Not true because the nymphs have a bunch of HP. They'll be able to survive walking through the lava until they get into here, drop here and die next to me. Everything else should die fairly, fairly quickly, I imagine. I'm just trying to judge the des distance, best distance. So if I'm in here, I think I want the lava to begin... Oh, God, it's so dark. Where the moss is, I think. It's like here. And then how far can, like, slimes and stuff jump? It's about this far, isn't it? So if I put lava in there... Seems fine. So if I'm in here... Things should die to that. That's all looking good so far. Now here's the issue. Nymphs don't walk around. They stand perfectly still. They won't attack you unless they have a clear line of sight. Which they won't have because I'll be hiding in here. Or unless they take damage. Which is something I can make them do if I rig up a dart trap. If I have a dart firing periodically. When they spawn in they'll get shot by the dart trap. Take a bit of damage. Run over here. Take a bit of damage from the lava. Run over here, die in here next to me. That is the way it's going to work. The one thing I do want to figure out is what's the range on these dart traps? So let's put one over here and find out. Uh, probably need one of these. And I'll also need one of these. So let's just for the sake of it. Please. Please, I'm trying to wire stuff up. Why you gotta be a pain? If I do that. Okay, that's still going. That's still going. Okay, it travels the entire way. That's that's fine by me. I know now that they will travel that entire way. Question is, do I want to do a super dart trap, or do I just want to do a regular dart trap? That's the uh, question at the moment. Why did I do that? Switch to that, with that, put that, with that. I think I may want to go and get a regular dart trap for this. And then what I'm also thinking about doing is maybe sticking a couple of super dart traps at a higher level like here. Just stop any things... That may be flying around, such as bats and stuff that don't end up landing in here. So do I do them right here, firing to the left? Is it even necessary? Maybe not. Maybe not necessary. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to grab a regular dart trap as opposed to a super dart trap. Other than that, everything else seems pretty good. I mean, I've got a bucket of honey here. That's going to go in there like that. Keep me regenerating. Because I can actually get hit in here. Uh, there will be... What do you call them? Those giant worm enemies. And they will want to... They will try to get through this and hit me, and they can. So I might even change my armor to be like super defensive. Just tank everything while I'm sat in the honey. I should be able to survive it all. Maybe that would be the benefit of a super dart trap as well. It would help to kill the worms. Hmm. Now there may be actually a 
a chance of what this like? bat making it up here. So if I actually stick a couple of super dart traps up here, so if, if they spawn like right down here, look, they could fly up to where I'm located. So if I put a super, couple of super dart traps, or perhaps even three, and if I make sure they face the correct way when I place them down, what we can then do is have them kill stuff. And I'll wire that up. Like that. So if any bats fly up here where they and they won't despawn because it'd be close enough to me, that should take care of them. I'll just have to remember to turn it on. Right, so otherwise, I think this is looking... I mean, look, these things aren't making it through here, which is good. It's exactly what I wanted. And we know the Super Dark Trap is going to wake from here. So the Nymph Bisc has all this space to spawn in on. And I could potentially put Rose in as well to have... Even more space. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what happens to the vampire miner. Wow, he was able to jump up there. Well, I definitely want to make this a bit tall then. We don't want our nymph jumping up there. That should be more than enough. Want him to land. Do do do. And I think the spiky balls, when enemies land on them, it prevents them from jumping out. Because um, it sort of triggers damage over and over again real quick. In quick succession. So it shouldn't matter. And if I wanted to, I could even just like, you know, make it. Wow. If I wanted to, I could even make like a staircase here. So it makes it even less likely. But then, of course, they could just jump up there. So I'm not going to do that. But I might put the. I think a lip of one, maybe a lip of two will be enough. Will nymphs jump? Ooh, that's actually a good question. Well, one, you can walk up, and they should be able to walk up. So that's that'll be good. There's a digger. Let me just stand in here for a second. Also, it does appear my spiky ball traps aren't working. Why is that... Yeah, the digger can't hurt me in here. That's how I have them in my base, isn't it? Spiky ball traps on top of a block? Yeah, this can't hurt me. It would get annoying if I had to sit and watch it, but I don't. Well, we're going to go home anyway to grab up uh, whatever it's called. Regular dart traps. So I guess we'll see. Yep, that's how we have it here. Look, dart trap, uh, spec ball traps, pressure plate, and I know what it is. I didn't wire them up, did I? I'm an idiot. Okay, simple, simple fix. Just need to wire them up. Let's grab a dart trap like that, and then let us. Is that what we wanted? I can grab some torches as well, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's get out of here. Right, so, as we drop down, basically in this well, we were sitting up on the top in that house waiting for Bloodroot to spawn. What we can now do with this nymph grinder here is we can sit in that spot, wait for Bloodroot to spawn, and hopefully also get a nymph banner. It might happen, it might not. Honestly, if, I, if it doesn't happen, I won't be too cut up about it. But if it does happen, then hey, that is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the rarest items in the game added to our list and one things one of the things I never thought I'd actually get. So I'm actually gonna do something here that I wasn't planning on, but sure, let's do it. Luke Games, I challenge you. Get the nymph banner before I do. I, I beat you on the axe and I beat you on the hotline fishing rod. 
I'm sorry, I, w I wanted that to be a, a decent challenge for us. However, now, you have the chance here. You could absolutely beat me at this. You could set up a f much more efficient Nymph Grinder than what I've set up here. I mean, feel free to copy this design if you want to, but I reckon you'll be able to come up with a much better design. Right, that should work now. And I reckon you'll be able to potentially get nymphs before I do. So skeletons. Yeah, they don't make it through. I might even need less lava than that. Less lava than that. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, so... Let's put that down there for a second. Let's get this guy out to protect me while I'm doing stuff. Thank you. I want a dart trap at this level. I want it to be basically one spot above the ground because nymphs would be a free tall person like I am. So if I have it on the ground, it would hit a middle, it would hit a top, it would hit. So I'm going to go for middle. Make it face the right way. Then I want to put a five second timer on it. Um... Yeah, five second timer, that should, let's count, yeah every five seconds, that's, that's enough time for something to spawn, in those five seconds, right, let's stand here, let's just see if one does hit. Yes, okay, so that works. So we sit in here. In fact, we have this tornado here. That could potentially protect us from uh, the worms. But I'm going to dismiss it just in case. You might get out. Uh, we can turn these on. That's got that protection over there. So to me, this looks fine. All we've got to do is wait for the super rare thing of a... Nymph to spawn. I mean, just saw a skeleton die. See, it's, it's sword stuck in the lava over there. I kind of do want to see if... My... I mean, it should do, but I'm just going to double test it. Just going to cover up that lava for a second. Right, something... So we're getting beetles here as well. Black slime, perfect. Come over here. Try not to die. Did that go over the slime? That was amazing. Right, I need you to test whether my spiky balls work. Yes, they do. This is this is set up, and this is this is good. Uh, the only thing we can do to enhance this is to also hold. A blue candle, a water candle, because remember we figured out that on the console version it's bugged and you can double up by having one placed and one in your hand. So we can do that to help us out. In the meantime, let's get rid of this. That's going to stop all that crap from getting through. All we need now is an, is an empty inventory. I bought all this stuff that we just didn't need. There's mining pants on my life. Yeah, there's so much crappy that we just didn't need to bring with us. As far as I can tell, this is this is done and should work. The arrow should, because I have it facing this way rather than the other way, um, it should knock her forward. If it was this way, it would knock her backwards. It might prevent her from dropping into this. But I think it's going to work. So yeah, this is my challenge to loot games. Get the nymph banner before I do. If you do that, I will see that you are better at Terraria than I am. I will I'll give you that award. I will award you the fact that you have managed to get the Nymph Banner before me. Despite the fact that I got the axe and the, uh, the Hotline Fishing Rod. This one thing, because it is the rarest, I will grant you. I will grant you that. Vampire Miner. Nah, even they don't get through. 
I just really want to see a nymph at the moment because I want to know if, whether or not they can survive actually getting through this. Right, well, time to save. I'm going to save my game, go home, dump off all of this crap so I've got a nice clean inventory. Then I'm going to sit inside here with my double water candles and I am going to just leave this running for like hours and hours and days and days and days again. And, you know, maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll get a, a nymph banner. How crazy would that be? Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Tune in tomorrow for... Well, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be doing a video tomorrow. I'm going to go visit my mum and my sisters tomorrow. And my brother. So, maybe you'll get a video. I don't know. Tune in and find out. Oh, there's an ancient iron helmet there. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.